Hello guys. Have you ever wondered how famous cricketers are analyzing their batting performance during the practice session? Yes, you are right. They have their own expensive equipment and team with them. I wish I could have the same, but I have left for that. That's why I am creating this project. I named it a smart bat. Yes, join me this epic journey to create your own smart bat device so that you can analyze your batting angle, pitch time, shot type and bat swing speed. I am Vinay your host and you are watching window.skills the ultimate destination of tech and innovation. So let's get started. Let's discuss the hardware first. We are using Waveshare RP2040 round on display uh, here and uh, why we are using this because it has inbuilt accelerometer and gyroscope sensor QMI 8658C and uh, it has a battery powered system as well and here you can see the all the pin diagram with this the example demo uh, you can check over the page I'll share this page in the description to build this project we are using a famous library LBGL this library used for uh, define a UI for any kind of microcontroller you can use because we are using RP20 round display one uh, that's why we are using light and versatile graphic library to click on get started you will see uh, all the online demo and the things and features and you can write the, uh, the example you can read the documentation of this you can find, search over Google LBGL and you directly, directly come to this uh, website. If you have any question how you can set up your LBGL library and system, you can comment on this video. I'll share a new video with that. Meanwhile, let's get started with the coding. Before coding, let's build first the UI of that uh, round display. And here we are using square line software and where using LBGL you can define the UI for any kind of microcontroller. So I added panel, labels, bar chart, round arc to define all the things whatever I want in the project. And if you, I, I want to show you the, all the properties which are, I have in a project, 16-bit things and other than that, the project system, uh, project configuration, whatever I want to. Uh, I'll share this code on and uh, GitHub live and uh, GitHub link to all my uh, video description. Let's start the coding uh, through Arduino. So I had uh, uh, I had done all the coding in Arduino. You can see all the library QM QMI 8658 I using as an header, and I also added LVGL library in the, the project. Oh, why it's not showing here? I don't know. But let's search it again. Oh, oh, because I'm on the wrong place. Yeah, library one. You can check the version of library I am using 8.3.11 uh, because my Squareline Studio is only supporting this. That's why. Please use the same version which we are using on Squareline. And other than that, yeah, I do have these library QMI and UI.h so that I can show the COI directly to the my microcontroller and these are the uh, file which is generated by the uh, squareline studio so that i can use that ui and send the data from arduino to ui and that's how i can show the data to um, that round display so as you know our coding part is done so let's design a, a enclosure for the device so that that can be fit directly to the our pad I am using on ship uh, SCAD design here so that uh, it's easy to me so I know but you can use any that design I can share this in a still file within the description as well but yeah meanwhile you can see uh, this enclosure is for the uh, round display and uh, battery and the below one you can see uh, directly fitted over my bat I already take a measurement for my bat as well so that it can fit directly over my bat handle and yes uh, here is uh, our enclosure done i'll check my assembly part as well so yeah it looks good and yeah you can see all the part is fit 
looks good together let's do the printing so i sent my stl file directly to the printer and these uh, this is started printing and here is my enclosure are successfully printed by my ender 3 s1 pro 3d printer now let's assemble the device so that uh, it will directly it will take any action over my video so i am adding a lipo battery with this device yeah it's running fine as well you can see my device is started running and it's also showing the uh, angle of the device uh, it look good now let me fit this device with the enclosure and yeah display is also looking good and it's also showing the reading for the sensor as well and let me put this device directly into the enclosure uh, as in the design you can see i already created a slot for this uh, type c uh, you can say um, part so that it will not goes around over within the enclosure let me fit that part directly to the cutted section and it is give me one second to fit it directly to the section now yep it's fit now okay now it is fit is successfully let me see yes uh, it's looking good as well It's look fine now. Yep, you can see directly. Yeah, it's look fine now. It's showing all the reading as well, and the device is look good with the enclosure as well. Now let's fit the device with my bat. I I take my bat again, and I am fitting this device to the my bat, and yeah, it's look good as well. And let me put the bat rubber above the. My device is more secured while playing the, with this, and, and yeah, bat is also looking good. With this. I say, yeah, uh, our padding style is the first thing. Now it's showing, it's an offside shot. Uh, this is pitch time, swing speed, and degree of bat angle. It's showing now a square leg, batting angle speed, and the pitch time. I am still working with enhancement with this device by showing data directly to the mobile using Bluetooth technology. Uh, please be with me, follow my video, share my video, subscribe my channel so that you will not miss that video at least. Thank you for joining.